Are you using heaps of forms in your business? Like written paperwork forms that you've got to fill out and scan or PDFs that some people can fill out online and others can't? There's a better way. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Naren from Positively Sorted and we help small businesses to outsource the tricky um, admin and marketing tasks so that they can get on with the stuff that they love and that they're really good at. I want to talk today about an app that I've been using more and more of um, to create online forms. These can replace um, paperwork that you've got to write by hand and then scan in somehow or PDFs that some people can some people can't fill out on their computer. An online form can save you and your clients and your staff heaps of time but they also make you look more professional. You can set them up um, to be fully branded in your with your logo and, and your, your colors so that you just look next level. You might have heard of or used Google Forms. There's another one called Typeform that's pretty popular. And there's a few others, but the one I use is called Paperform. And I love it because it's easy to use. It has a lot of customization options for setting up your branding and make it look just like your website and, and your business. And there has, it has a lot of integrations and can, can do some quite fancy stuff with it. So some of the really clever stuff you can do is set up questions that are conditional on the answers to previous questions. You can, um, there's all the different sort of multiple choice you can set up scale sort of like what, what's your satisfaction on this from a scale of one to whatever you want. Um, you can set up scoring so that depending on, on the answers to some of those questions, you can give a, give a score at the bottom. You can take payments if you set up the connection uh, with PayPal or I think Stripe's the other one. So I have a client that we use Paperform for a lot that has a lot of forms. Um, and a lot of them are for more for record keeping um, and making sure staff are following policies um, and um, yeah, collecting the right information and, and looking after clients well. But we've also used it for setting up a registration page for a, a workshop that she's going to be giving, including taking the payment. So it's a, you can use it as a full booking thing. Um, we've also, the other thing that Paperform does that I'm not sure if the others do is lets you customize the, P, the PDF result that comes out at the end. So a lot of the time you might just need the actual data and you might want to send it to a spreadsheet or into some other, like into your accounting software or some other some other app, but sometimes you need that output as an actual document to, to keep for uh, record keeping, um, legal reasons, whatever. Um, so you can set up the PDF that comes out of that with exactly sort of all the terms and conditions maybe and the person's signature, um, your logo at the top. Um, it really does a really great job of that. So let's jump in and have a quick look around and I'll show you what I mean. So this is paper form. This is sort of the dashboard when you log in behind the scenes and you'll see there, they have a lot of templates um, that you can use as a starting point or you can just create a blank form. But this gives you an idea as well of all the things you can do with it. So you can do invitations, registrations, um, quizzes, um, wait, let, get people to sign up for your waiting list, quotes, uh, 
feedback uh, questionnaires, surveys, service agreements, um, polls, application forms, all sorts of stuff. So I've I like I actually haven't used it as much for my business. I'm just getting some extra forms set up now, but so feedback forms and testimonial questionnaires is is one of the things I've probably used it the most for and I did have a little quiz I've got so you've got folders that you can set up on the side if you've got lots so the client that I'm currently working with using paper form she's we've set her up with her own account she's got folders all down the side here for um, her like HR forms and workplace health and safety, intake forms, um, forms that they use with, with clients, all sorts of stuff. Um, so, and then the other thing I've used it for is an actual order form. So you can set up products and uh, actually I might be able to, this is an old out of date one, but this gives you an idea so you can get them to put in their store details and then select what products they want to order. Uh, that's a good one as well to take some of the data entry work out. Um, but oh, here we go back to here. So where's one we can use? If we're going to edit, this is kind of a work in progress one, but so you can add text anywhere, move things around, you can add so anywhere where you put your cursor, you can add an image, video, uh, a break, which will either sort of, if you have a break in, it'll usually make it an, an, another page. Um, and then you can add your questions. So it's not super, it doesn't stand out heaps. And that's part of what I like is that the questions don't, they're, yeah, they're sort of, neat and <laughs> neat and tidy um, you can up the top here you can set up your theming so your your colors and fonts for your headings the sizes the colors for your your questions and your buttons and everything uh, it's all um, customizable to exactly what's going to suit your brand and then you've got options to set up the, so this is the configure section. You can set up a special, is it going to work? <laughs> so you've got your title, your description. You can have an image, sort of for the thumbnail. And then you can also customize the URL so that it's something that makes a bit more sense. Um, it's a bit more easier to read. It sort of defaults to a jumble of letters and numbers and then you can set it up to a, something that's, that's going to suit you. Um, can set up to be able to take payments to see how many people have um, used your form and how they've used it and then you can also set up the like there's things like scoring you can set up a page pages for after they've submitted the information what comes up on the screen that they see and then yeah so your, your finished pages and where that goes the you can set up emails to so that when they fill out the form the where that information automatically goes so you can set it so you get a, a summary of the submission and if it's something like a simple inquiry form that might be all you need but if it's something a bit more elaborate you might want an email to go to the person that filled it out with thanks for filling out this form here's the next step or it could be and there could be another email that might go to your admin saying this person's filled in this form this is what you need to do next with it um, there's yeah completely customizable uh, then there's also custom PDFs that you can set up so and and the you can choose how the results get sent in these emails as well so custom PDFs let you I haven't set set them up for this but again, you can set up your themes and, and everything again. And then you can either just have it um, 
put your logo at the top and, and a heading and then just show all the results or you can go a bit more custom and pick and choose which answers and, and put text in between and really format it exactly how you want depending on what you want to do with it. And then this integration and hooks is where you can get really clever and have the information that gets put into the form automatically go to so you can automatically add them to your email list or um, that's yeah into into a spreadsheet you can have it add a task in asana or um, into your crm that they're kind of the these are the direct integrations and then you can use things like um, zapier will let you set up integrations with heaps more different <laughs> different apps so it's really sort of almost up to your imagination what you can do with the information so this is this is where you start to automate things a bit more to save you even more time um, and then to actually use the form you can embed it in your website and this will just give you a bit of code that you can put into your website or um, the easiest way is that URL that we that we looked at before. Copy that, and you can either just share it somewhere, but you can just give that link to whoever needs it. So you can put it in an email to somebody, in a message to somebody. You can have it on your website that like a, a button that links to that that URL. It's sort of limitless. <laughs> so. That's a quick taster of what you can do. So there you go. What do you reckon? It's super flexible and has heaps of options. And that was just a little taste. <laughs> um, if you've got forms or ideas for forms, they like, oh, I've been meaning to do that, but I have never gotten around to it. Um, check it out. If it is pretty easy to use, but if, it does if it looks a bit tricky to you or if you just don't have time give us a yell it's something we've been doing a lot of lately and we're getting it down to a fine art so um, if you've got any questions as well just let me know and i'll um, answer them in the comments <laughs>